off with the latest on the April ferry disaster. Five more bodies were recovered today, but that still means 23 people are still unaccounted for. And continuing our efforts to hold those responsible in the government who delayed the initial rescue operations. Our Kwonsawa reports. There was a mistake with the numbers. The rescue operation is being carried out simultaneously by private and public authorities. So we are prone to making mistakes. The way authorities have handled the Seolho ferry disaster from the moment the boat started to experience problems has been the subject of harsh criticism. Nearly a month after that fateful day, state auditors have begun a special investigation into whether the government neglected its duties. The Board of Audit and Inspection has deployed a 50-person team to inspect the ministries and agencies responsible for the disaster response. These include the Ministries of Oceans and Fisheries, the Coast Guard, as well as shipping associations related to the sunken ferry. Auditors will focus on whether the government's response was appropriate and if rescue operations progressed strategically. The construction, management and operational procedures of passenger ships will also be scrutinized. Further on, the audit team will look into how the government is supervising safety measures. Meanwhile, prosecutors are looking into putting more pressure on Yu dae Kyun, the first son of the practical owner of the Seolho ferry, Yu byung on They put him on their Class A most wanted list on Wednesday, one day after raiding his house which means he will be arrested on the spot once he is found. There are concerns he may attempt to flee the country if he already hasn't. Prosecutors have summoned his father, Yu byung on for questioning on Friday, and they say they expect him to appear. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.